started in late March is a flood of information. The numbers of positive COVID-19 tests, filled email boxes, inboxes, and social media feeds. The data was broken down solely by age and gender and not by race or neighborhood. Megan Schiller joins us live now to explain why the governor's office wants to take action to help the most vulnerable communities. Megan. Stacy, this issue came on the scene about April 15th. The governor's office asked that maybe they could have a task force that would look to solve one issue. Is COVID-19 hitting harder in the neighbors, neighborhoods of our vulnerable popula populations and minorities? They decided that the answer is yes, so they came up with six recommendations to fix it. It's called health disparity. When a virus like COVID-19 can wrap its infected arms around a vulnerable group of people. The COVID epidemic has been a great amplifier of inequality. Inequality that sparked a new task force with one goal. To ensure that every Pennsylvanian, regardless of race, of gender, of ethnicity or socioeconomic background, has an equal opportunity to survive uh, and to thrive. The task force learned that COVID-19 hit harder in the poorer, underserved and non-English speaking communities across the state because overwhelmingly uh, our frontline essential employees are coming from these communities of color. You know, they work at the grocery stores, they work at the post office, they work on the front line. And a lack of money, a reliable car or solid health insurance only makes things harder when you're sick. Like whatever existed before the pandemic has been amplified by COVID-19. The task force suggested starting with this list of six topics and recommended solutions like sealing evictions for people currently on unemployment to creating a way to get people back their driver's license to get back to work. Please consider this driver's license amnesty. This is a jobs law. It's like you're much more likely to be able to get a job if you can get a driver's license. And they say that they believe that all of these issues contribute to one's health, things like transportation, where you live and your housing, even your access to the Internet. If you're a little kid trying to tune in for cyber school this fall. Now, for the full list of the six main topics and all of the recommendations that they had for each of them, you can go to our website, kdk.com. Reporting live downtown, Megan Schiller, KDK News.